the promise of God's love from Isaiah chapter 9, verses 2 through 7. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. And those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you, as with the joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Today we watch and wait for Christ coming and in the waiting. We first light the candle of hope and now we light the candle of love. Remembering and believing in the promise of God's love for us with with us today and always. I can't see. A moment that I recently experienced God's love was um, over the past couple of days. Um, during Advent, we always do a small family activity every day. Um, it's not huge usually. Um, sometimes it's something as simple as like just setting out the Christmas lights outside. Um, but it is something that reminds me that you know God loves us and that we're in a season of waiting right now. That it's not Christmas yet, but Christmas is coming soon. God, we know that if we have just a little of your love, there is nothing we can't get through. Renew us in love, Jesus, Jesus we, we believe. Jesus, I